<laughs> All right, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> I tried to uh, do an introduction there and it didn't quite work out. So let me start again. Rostov 41, top of turn three. Germans have a nit and they got three air. Again, it's clear weather turn. Interesting turn for both sides in turn two. Let's talk about the Soviets first. They uh, collapsed back off of uh, this 2VP location here, trying to consolidate around here and uh, also screen off the forces coming this way while um, all the way in the far top left hand here, top northeast, northwest corner, there's a uh, unit here. He was brought back on as a re replacement reinforcement type of thing and decided to sort of keep a channel open, whoops, keep a channel open for uh, reinforcements to enter through, through, through this direction here. Uh, it's easy for the Germans to kind of push up here and block and screen this whole area. So we want to try and give them a little bit of a channel to, to come through. <clears throat> so we're trying that, seeing how it works. Got some out of uh, supply units all over the place, even one down here. No supply route. Can't use this here. And closed, uh, Germans closed in on Rostov. Surprisingly, I did not realize they could make it that far. Uh, here's the trick. Uh, roads for every type of movement in clear, a uh, quarter of a moving point each, so they can boogie. Uh, that was pretty interesting. The reinforcements for turn two all came on here. We, we've uh, garrisoned th these two, that's two VPs, I think this is five, so seven VPs. Then here we've got two full divisions coming down to Rostov. Look, may end up diverting. Uh, it's a little difficult to do that, just because the movement rates are so slow, right? Uh, Trying to see what else happened here. We, we've almost cleared out this little pocket. I think if, if the Russians have done anything well this turn is that they've held up the, the German advance a little bit here, uh, took a step loss here and uh, retreated out. They'll be back in the game if they can get into Rostov. We've reinforced Rostov with a brigade here. So pretty dynamic little situation at the moment. The artillery is lagging well behind, so the air will be welcome this turn because we're gonna investigate the opportunity to uh, clear this area, just capture this uh, VP location, shunt these guys you know, into a little bit of a pocket if we can form one, and then maybe uh, see what we can peel off in the exploit phase and go capture two VPs down here, not expecting to keep those, but it's gonna force the Russians to at least try and recapture it. So I'll send some weak, uh, naughty little uh, recon unit up there. He'll go do his thing. There's a little one, two or yeah, one, two, eight cab unit, motorcycle guy. We'll zoom them up there, capture that. Good luck. Good luck, come back and you send someone over to get it, right? Um, Rostov, I'm really tempted to try and crack Rostov quickly so that we can, you know, uh, secure an early victory and make it insurmountable for the, for the Russians. Now, as I'm looking at the map, while I'm, I'm talking, I'm looking away, I'm looking at the map, and I'm looking at this section here. This is interesting. If, if the Russians can retreat into here, potentially, they could stage right here and then just dump across the river. And if I had two, three, or four units, that's four VPs that I could suck away from the VP total. So just interesting little tactical, uh, you know, option that could potentially uh, bubble up to be something uh, real. One other thing I didn't mention in the sequence of play is not only do the Germans get to hang out and do their thing in the German barrage phase, but they also get to activate in the regular barrage phase for both sides. Even while a unit is moving, if the unit is moving, it's gonna to go to, you know, hex X, I can go, whoa, hey now, he's in range, I'm gonna shoot that bad guy. And we can do that. Uh, so that is that is an option uh, and it's very powerful. I haven't used it yet, but I can see how now as things start to evolve a little bit, 
keeping some powder dry with your <coughs> with your barrages could well be worthwhile with your artillery units all right once again quick little update video three i think i said it was and we're starting turn three so that uh, sinks nicely ciao